Hey everybody, Cody here, and uh, today we're going to be doing a line painting, and we're going to be using, instead of those little uh, styrofoam, you know, hand painters that I normally use, I'll be using this like industrial one that I got from the store. It'll probably be about the same, although this one has like a little handle and it's kind of angled, so we'll see, you know, how that goes. So, haven't used that yet, I've just used kind of the, the small disposable ones. Um, all right, then I've got a piece of watercolor paper. Um, I've just got it taped to an old canvas um, that I had painted. So I'm just using that as kind of like a, a thing to keep it in place. And also I've had the issues where the paint runs off the side. So that's why I'm kind of using the canvas to kind of pull it, I guess. Um, the colors we'll be using today are white, orange, blue, and red. I don't know why that combination just kind of spoke to me. I think uh, the next one I do will probably be like red, black, and white because that's my favorite color combination. Uh, so we'll probably do that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I've already mixed my paints. Um, so just give one final mix just, just for the heck of it. And then we'll go ahead and start painting. So we're gonna drizzle our paint uh, in horizontal lines across the canvas or the the watercolor paper, sorry. And we're just gonna make some little uh, starting lines, I guess, for the paint. And so we're gonna do, probably do like a, almost like a big bar of it at the top. And do a thin line there. And I think that's probably good there. All right, so then we'll move on to our next color. Move on to the orange. And I kind of want like a thick bar of it here. So I'm going to put a few different layers of it. <clears throat> Looks like there might be a, a chunk in the orange. Let's see if I can get that out. Don't want to try to get the chunks out. And the problem with the gloss enamel is that it tends to dry to, you know, it, it's, it's like house paint. So it dries and it gets kind of crusty around the top. And when it gets crustier on the top, those those pieces flake and fall into the paint. So when I'm painting, sometimes it gets in the paint and it can ruin the painting, unfortunately. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let's go a little bit more right there. Now we'll move on to our blue. Put some blue right in the middle of that, right in the middle of that, right in the middle of that. And we'll actually do quite a bit right there. One last one right there. All right, and then finally, we'll do our red. Thick bar of red there, and right there, right there, and right there, and screw it, we'll put it right there. All right, now I know it doesn't look like much, but once we go through and pull those paints through, it'll, it'll look a lot different. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna take our um, edge painter. We're gonna put it to the end. And we're just gonna pull the edge painter through the painting. And I'm not pushing super hard, but I am trying to push hard enough that it pulls the paint through. Although because it's dry, I'm probably going to have to pull this through again. Yeah, so there's a lot of gaps and there's a piece a fleck of paint. So we can get that out of there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to try to pull some of this and we're going to go through it more time. I'm going to try to line up the lines where they were the first time. And I am pushing pretty hard. So I'm trying to pull that paint through.
Okay, so we've got some good coverage on the top. You can see that there's gaps here on the bottom. Um, that just means that there wasn't enough paint when we put it on. So what I'll probably do is I'm gonna paint down here and then I'm gonna go over the middle because it's gonna overlap anyway. And we're gonna see if we can fill in those gaps. So then we'll, we'll kind of come down to the bottom. Okay, so we've got good lines here, and we're pretty good at the top. We've got some paint on here, so what I'm going to try to do is put that paint back over it and cover these gaps. <clears throat> and that's it so you can see that the lines are a little kind of they're not uh, straight at the bottom it kind of curves upward but that's okay I mean it's really not that big a deal if I keep going over it those colors are going to kind of blend together and then you're going to lose the vibrancy of the colors um, and they they kind of turn to mud after a while so I really don't want to lose the vibrancy of those colors I'm just going to leave it it's okay that it's not perfect um, <clears throat> so now when I was doing that just now, I kind of noticed an interesting thing that I've never really paid attention to. Uh, when I had the paint and I stopped down here, I actually noticed that there was, it created kind of an interesting, I don't know, like a, a wavy look. I might try that in a future video because I, I want to kind of take a look at it. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paint off so you can kind of see what the final piece looks like. Okay, so I'm going to set that tape aside and take my gloves off so I can show you guys the final piece. All right, so this is the final piece here. here I'll take a snapshot here for YouTube. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. We've got our signature lines that we always want. Again, you can kind of see that it, it slopes up here, but it's like straight the rest of the painting. That's okay. I mean, it, it kind of gives a character. It, you, it would bother me, but I already know that if I try to correct it, it'll only get worse. Actually, I guess I did at the top too, because you can see it's not as far down um, on this side. But anyway, the colors actually turn out pretty good. I really like this right here, this dark blue. Um, 
And if you, if we get kind of close, you can see that there's actually lines of orange in the blue. So, yeah. Got a little bit of a ripple there, that's okay. And there's our signature paper thin lines. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I do like it overall. It's uh, It was an interesting color scheme, but the orange actually is not as powerful as I thought it was gonna be, so it actually turned out pretty good. So overall success, um, I will kind of look into that paint. Uh, it was almost like dabbing the paint, uh, but with that little tiny brush, and maybe we'll kind of explore that. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. See you guys.